Let me start out by thanking everyone who posted their questions, which makes this video possible. Do you believe FBI agent Joaquin Jack Garcia had the same impact as Joe Pistone when he infiltrated the Gambino family? To begin with, both infiltrations equated to big embarrassments for the families involved. What Garcia did wasn't on Pistone's level, mainly because prior to Pistone, it was never done before. Another factor is the era that Pistone infiltrated was considered the mob's peak, and the Bananos were in height of internal conflict. Not to minimize Garcia's accomplishments, but what Pistone did not only caused embarrassment, multiple convictions, but people were killed for it as well. You mentioned that you met members of the Indragata in New York. Do you know if some of the other Italian organized crime groups are also represented in New York? During my time, I started hearing more and more about the Indragata. And there came a time when I met a clan one night in a Long Island restaurant. Aside from the Sicilian Mafia, I have personally never met or heard of other Italian organizations that were in New York. But this by no means is to say they weren't present. Was Anthony Guzzo also placed on record with Joey DiBenedetto after the Pearl Room incident with the Columbos? The incident at the Pearl Room took place after Colombo Associates refused to pay a bar tab. At some point, Anthony and I went outside with them and got the better of them. At this time, both Anthony and myself were on record with Joey DiBenedetto. Was Genovese captain Tony Provenzano related to Bernardo Provenzano of the Sicilian Mafia? I mean, anything's possible, but I highly doubt it. How often were you required to check in with your captain? Was there a set time period? For example, at John's Cigar Lounge? The majority of the time, I was around the Cigar Lounge. But there were times where I had set days and times. And there were also times when I met with Big John somewhere other than the Cigar Lounge, but very few. Does a member have to be reintroduced when they step down or are demoted from a position? No. If they're being introduced to someone for the first time, after either being taken down or stepping down, they just wouldn't be introduced with their former title. Do you think workers' unions are benefited from mob associations or not? I'll put it this way. Is your house benefited by being safe and secure or with people inside robbing it? You guys seem to have your own intelligence network. How did you find out more about a person or business? Did you go to one person or put it out to a group of people? Let me start out by saying I'm no longer affiliated to the guys you speak of. But when trying to find out about someone or business, you would ask around. And most of the time, someone would come up with information for you. Was Anthony Guzzo known on the street as a tough or stand-up guy? He's still a member of that life, so I would guess so. Anthony's not a punk, but definitely went out of his way to make himself unavailable and would make a lot of excuses to get himself out of situations that we were dealing with. So I don't know how other people view him, but for me, I could tell you what Anthony was not. He was not a true blue friend. But in the mob, you have no true blue friends, so he fits right in. Here's some more questions about food, which I don't mind, but someone wanted to know who served the best coffee in all New York City. Anyway, what was your dish to eat at Bella Notte? Bella Notte is a restaurant in Belmore, Long Island, and the food is very good there. My personal favorite was Frutta de Mare, which is a mixed seafood dish. This person wants to know the best diner in New York, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When it comes to diners, every neighborhood has one or more. For instance, in Staten Island, you have Mike's Unicorn Diner, Andrew's, the Annadale Diner, the Colonnade, etc. While in Long Island, I mostly went to the Massapequa Diner, and mainly only for breakfast. Here's a good way to judge diners. If Greeks are running them, more than likely they're good, because they're the only ones that can run that business. What's your preference cheese for pizza? Is it a blend, or just one kind of cheese? There are times I'll use fresh mozzarella, and other times I use whatever I have in the refrigerator. Having a mixture of cheese can be more tasteful. It really depends on a person's preference. Who has the best linguine and clam sauce in New York? To be honest, this is a dish I rarely order while I'm out and prefer to make it at home, which I recently did. So I couldn't say or give my opinion as to who makes it the best. 
If you were given the opportunity to interview anyone of choice, dead or alive, who would it be and why? It's a very long list, and I'll speak about a portion of it. With the exception of Maya Lansky, I wouldn't want to interview anybody in the mob. And Lansky possessed a great business mind. It would be enlightening to speak with Leonardo da Vinci, Julius Caesar, George Washington, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., Padre Pio, Bruce Lee, Giovanni Falcone, Nelson Mandela, etc. All great minds. And that's my biggest interest. Just reading about these people becomes a learning experience. So to have the ability to converse with them and ask certain questions would be on a whole different level. And this is not to say that there aren't great minds in the present time, but the minds of the past help shape the world we live in today. If there was one Fortune 500 company you would like to be the boss of, which company would it be and why? I don't have a specific Fortune 500 company, but it would be an honor to be the CEO of any one of them, as the average yearly revenue for such a company is around $7 billion. So for me, I'd be the CEO of any one of them. Do you think the Gambinos will replace Giolani with another Sicilian or someone else? He's looking at 20 years, so he's done. Joe Lani and other members and associates of the Gambino family were arrested in November 2023. Lani was specifically charged with the assault of a restaurant owner and his wife and was caught by security cameras trying to purchase gas, allegedly to inflict more damage. Besides holding a captain position, Lani is very well liked by the Sicilian faction and the family's administration. If in the event he has to do some time, I think the administration will put someone to fill the void who they feel is a good fit, whether Sicilian or Italian-American. Trust me, they know the difference between nepotism and what makes sense. Did you ever hear about the shooting at Reos involving a Lucchese soldier being killed by a Genovese associate? That incident took place in December 2003 when Lucchese member Albert Cicelli began making disrespectful comments to a woman who was singing in Reos. One of the regular customers, Louis Barone, defended the woman and exchanged words with Cicelli, who also spoke disrespectful to him, at which time Barone pulled out a 38 and shot him in the back, killing him. During my time, we went to Reos quite often, but no one ever mentioned this incident. Let me remind viewers to please like this video if you haven't already. And for anyone who wants to show their appreciation or help keep this podcast going, you can do so by the Super Thanks icon down below or the PayPal and Cash App links in the video's description. This last question is one I find troubling. Here it is. If a young person wanted to be invited into a family and didn't know anybody well enough, how would he go about it in today's era seriously? Let me start out by saying, if you believe this type of family is similar to one that takes a person into their home and gives them the love they were missing in their life, you're sadly mistaken. The family you're inquiring about is called a crime family. And if being a criminal is what you aspire to be, you need to rethink your long-term goals. A great deal of people, young people in particular, think that the mob is cool and exciting, a brotherhood replete with honor, respect, and loyalty, which is understandable because as civilians, this is what you see on the surface. Nonetheless, if any one of you had the misfortune to have your dreams come true and be inducted into a family, all I could tell you is you would be in for the shock of your life. So for the person who posted this question, here's my advice. Strive to be something else in life because there are many members right now who are trying to figure out how to walk away from that life and live in peace. And these are people with inside knowledge, seriously.